this lecture is about tri state devices you must be familiar with two logic states of a device which is a positive high that is one where the circuit is connected to high voltage or a positive low that is grounded circuits where it's also denoted by zero okay so one and zero but in tri state devices we have third logic state that is z high impedance state this is like an open circuit so when a when input is open circuited it means it is in high impedance state i hope you know what high impedance state is so there are three logic states so it's called a tri state device uh now you may think why do we need this third logic state when we can do all our calculations like addition subtraction and everything with these two logic states uh, logic high and logic low then why do we need this so um i recommend that you should pause the video right now and think on it for a while and after that resume the solution is waiting for you all right look at the figure in green there are two circuits this is circuit 1 this is circuit 2 and we have a common input to both of them now suppose we want to have a output from circuit 2 and we don't want any output from circuit 1 suppose these two circuits are further connected to circuit 3 but we don't want any output from this circuit 1 to have an impact on the final output so we just want output from circuit 2 now if we are we are to provide a input it's definitely going to be from here so when we provide a input to this circuit 2 it's obviously going to go as a input to circuit 1 also and so circuit 1 will accordingly give its output so in this case this third high impedance states come into account now when when we are in such a situation what we can do now we cannot enter the microprocessor or any circuit and physically cut a wire connecting such small switches like 1000 times per second we can't do that so we can make arrangement to make this uh this line uh to to make this input of circuit 1 as high impedance state so just make it open circuit that's it so now as the input of circuit 1 is open circuited there is no input on circuit 1 so there won't be any output see when uh, even when the input is zero there would be some output like if suppose the it's an uh, and gate or whatever it is you you put a zero input there has to be some impact on the output but when it is open circuit that is when it's in high impedance state the output there won't be any output it would be like a floating wire so we will just get the output from circuit 2 and so from one single input we can get the output from circuit 2 while keeping this circuit 1 completely shut okay